What's going on, guys? And thank you for tuning back in today for an awesome deck profile. We got Jason Pan's Zoro that he just recently placed third in the online OC Treasure Cup. Uh, Animal Man, you made it right to the finals, just uh, getting beaten by Whitebeard. Yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> it's a bit unfortunate there. I mean, but you know, going seven and one on the day and really doing well for the team, man. So we really, really love it. We're gonna. We're going to dive in and get a good idea with um, everything with your profile and your matchups. So Easy. take us away, man. So I'll just talk about, we'll go over the cards first and then I'll explain the matchups. All right. So your four Ezos, your four Buggies, four Marquinos, four Tamas. The These three here, uh, your Ezo, Buggy, Marquino must be four. Then your four Tamas, your three Gordons. I've seen some, some lists switch the ratios around, but I like this. The Magros, two, four Dadans, uh, staple, must, must. Four. Busted card, that's why it's banned. Yeah, rest <laughs> in peace. Rest in peace. Four Russells. A Manzora, yep. Four Josus, must as well. Uh, your one Blocker Marco, your four, five cost Marco. That's it for your characters. The Immortal. Uh, not really, bro. <laughs> Not, not anymore, not anymore, not anymore. Your four <coughs> defensive events of, of for guard points. Yep. And the one red beam. The three fire fists. One jet pistol. And one jambe and two fiery dolls. Alright. So the original deck list was from No from Seafood King. But then I tweaked a few things because the our meta here was a, is a bit different and just some things to my personal liking. One of the first things was he had two Jambes, but then I felt like whenever the matchups that needed Jambe, all the good players wouldn't go down to one life in the first place, so there's no point having the Jambe. And then, so then, because of the red ban, with this being the last event, I felt like there would be more white beards, more Laws, more Zoros. Not really Law, because you can't really just pick that deck up. But yeah. definitely more white beards. So I teched in the extra fiery doll. And then the jet pi jet pistol, just for your Dofi matchup to get rid of Tazoro, your queens, and also in the law matchup to get rid of the laws, the Basil Hawkins, etc. Which this did come up uh in at least in one of my law games. Uh I'll, I'll talk about my matchups. Yep. So my first matchup, White Beard, uh was good. I won. Then my second matchup was Katakuri. So shout out to Nick from the team as well, <laughs> who we pra uh, play tested a lot in locals and also outside of locals. Probably the best the best Katakuri that I face here. So then it was really good to face a top end character, like a really really good Katakuri. I'm not saying my opponent wasn't good, but I'm just saying it was, Nick was like next level good. So then I knew how to go into the matchup. That's the reason why he always top 16, top 32. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, it was Rebecca, one of my harder matchups. But then I uh, he won dice roll, he chose to go second, made me go first. I just passed first turn, second turn, Don on leader, swing eight. Then he countered with 2k, 1k, 1k. And that sent alarm bells in my head that, oh, he doesn't have any 2k counters left. So then throughout the rest of the game, I just kept going six, 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 and then eventually, he just he just ran out of resources. Even Rebecca ran out of resources because I just flooded board without the one drops. Then I summoned the one drops to replenish my hands and fuel board, and then end up winning without losing a single life. So that that was good. And then next was another white beard. He has another white beard. Yep. And then next matchup was a law. Uh, and then, funny thing is, this law beat, I think it was Nick. So then I got revenge for Nick <laughs> by beating the white beard. I was by beating the law. Uh, in that matchup, I, rem I remember it quite a lot because he shambles really late. Because he kept trying to get rid of my buggy. Because I mold and I had like two or three buggies, but they kept whiffing. But then he kept just hard playing Vista, trying to get rid of my buggies. So I just rushed him down. And then it got up to like five cards in hand for him. I had Rush Zoro in hand as my leader. 
I just got him down to zero. He had no blockers. And then I did find one uh, jam base, so I just went for the 15, 13k unblockable next turn, and he only had like up to 10k in hand. So it was good. And then the next matchup was Law again for round six against Nathan, another local boy from Supernova. Shout out uh, to them. And then this was a really, really close game down to the wire. And then uh, he beat Nick, I don't know, he beat Kenneth, another teammate of mine. So I got revenge for KC as well. And then next round was round seven, Whitebeard against Elliot Charters, one of the top players here and probably the best Whitebeard player in OCE. So it was really good to verse him. There you go, man. Shout out to Elliot. Yeah, shout out to Elliot. <laughs> and it was really good. He was a really nice guy, especially mm. after talking as well. Really chill guy. I'll see you at Nats, bro. <laughs> and then round eight against Jawei Sun or Jawei Tan. Sorry, I, for I forgot what your last name was. There were two Jaways. And then, yeah, I misplay at the end. I took... The misplay I did was I took life from a rush ace instead of guarding with guard point because I he, had a, he already had a new gate on board I just for some reason forgot about the new gate swinging so then I had to use my blocker Marco and the only white bid card I had was five fiery uh, doll so I pitched that to save the Marco with the body but then I top deck another fiery doll so then if I double fiery doll I would have had just enough to beat him Wow, okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's a bit unfortunate on that ending. <laughs> yeah, but... Yeah. Uh, but overall, regardless, it was really fun. Yep. Like, after each round, we just hop in a Discord, hop in our server, or talk, have a good time. Yeah. It was also just really fun. Yeah, yeah. It was it was uh, really well ran, as always, yes, um, course, on Tech Games. We, um, we appreciate always them giving us these events, and... Um, yeah, you've done a really good job, man. Like, yeah, yeah, all the way to the end, to the finals, it was great to see, like, PX3 in there again, doing well. And um, as as you guys know, Pan's just come onto the team recently, for the last week, and uh, it's been smashing it with Zoro, man. So hopefully we can uh, maybe see a revive with Zoro in the future. What do you reckon? Like, giving the ban and the erratas and all that? Like, I think, do you think uh, maybe set five yeah. might come back. Purely based on Japan's meta with red mm. being full, full power, quote unquote, yeah. and still not topping. There's hardly any top fours, hardly any top eights, or yeah. rarely top 16s. So, just based on that fact alone, it, I think there's a chance. It's not impossible to come back. Yeah. But it's good to give different colors a different go. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, that's then, it. Yeah, if it does come back, I'll do a updated profile for anybody that wants. That wants to uh, play it and some tips on how to play it. Beautiful. I'm sure people will love to get in on that. So just before we head off, we just one last quick look at the beautiful Zoro deck. We're gonna miss this. <laughs> we really are. It is awesome, and uh, yeah, it was an awesome job. Uh, any shout outs as well? Any more shouts before we leave, man? All right. Shout out to all my teammates at PX3. Yep. Shout out to Cho Yang, my mate, my best mate. Shout out to Zhao. Uh, oh, shout out to spe specifically to Kevin for letting me use his A Marcos and A Fifus. Ah, oh, the old arts. They're yeah. the old arts. <laughs> Even though he plays all himself, he let me use it still. So shout out to him. Beautiful. Shout out to everyone in the Perf community. We have a really strong community here. May yeah. not seem strong because we don't top that much at events, but uh, but playing here, I can tell that sometimes going four rounds in locals is harder than my going. Six six rounds undefeated at like an online event. Yeah. So yeah, it's just really 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 strong local meta. We have a bunch of um, players here, actually quite a few that unfortunately don't get the time to participate on the online events. So it'll be good when we uh, travel over in January for the championships. We can't wait yeah. for that and see see everyone there. So we're really looking forward to it. Um, as usual, big shout out to Beyond Odyssey, main guys there, and Eternal Magic will there doing awesome jobs for us, uh, TCT Indie. And uh, yeah, remember to like and subscribe and to hit that bell to stay notified, guys. And we'll yeah. see you on the next one. Cheers, man.